In today's video, we're gonna be looking at keyboard shortcuts in QuickBooks Desktop. So keyboard shortcuts work much in the same way as they do in Windows and Desktop. We can basically send a command from our keyboard that usually starts with Alt or Control and then a series of letters to open the window we wanna to get to. So this is gonna be a much faster option than clicking things from our top toolbar. At least I'm calling it a toolbar. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but basically the headings up here. So you'll notice that the underlined letters, for instance, the H in uh, home, in the home page, in the toolbar are indicative of the keyboard shortcut or the command that we can use. So if instead of clicking company and then home page, I do alt C H, well, that'll bring me to my uh, home page. So that's basically our first keyboard shortcut. Next keyboard shortcut is, I don't know how much of a keyboard shortcut this is, but just hitting escape. So that brought me out of my home page. Next keyboard shortcut, and I'm not sure how often you're gonna use this one, but it's very useful for when you're on the phone with Intuit and they wanna know your license number, product information about your version of QuickBooks that you're using, and also to know where you're storing your QuickBooks file in your computer. So the keyboard shortcut for that one is F2, and that brings this up, and I'll blur out my personal information, but the location, you can see exactly where you saved it in your computer and license number, product number. And it tells you also information about how many accounts you've set up and you have open. Another one that I use very, very often, especially for finding information or sifting through QuickBooks in a fast way to, to uh, find the transaction is Control F. That's the uh, find feature or the search feature. Very useful. Another one I use a lot is Control A. That's for my chart of accounts. Now the next ones are reports, probably that I access uh, on a daily basis. So Alt R F S, that'll bring up your income statement, right? So let me look at this fiscal year. I don't have a whole lot of information because this is a sample file. And another one I use a lot is by class. So reports by class, Alt R F C. And if we wanted to actually view those two reports or any type of report or any type of window side by side, we can hit Alt W V and that'll tile them vertically. So that's nice because I can look at two reports simultaneously. So if I escape, hit uh, yes, uh, and I do Alt R F B, I can have my balance sheet open and Alt R F S, I can have my income statement open and do Alt W V, and I have them side by side. Obviously you're gonna have to fix up your dates but that's fine. Another um, keyboard shortcut that I use a lot is Control I. And that brings us to our invoice, Escape. Another one is Alt O B, Alt O B. And that brings us to a bill. Next one that I use a lot is Control W. That one's for writing a check. And Control J. That brings us to our customer center. If I go back to my writing a check, Control W. Um, if I hit Tab, I can just move forward in all the columns that I'm basically gonna enter. If I hit Alt and the arrow, now I'm moving backwards. Tab, forward. Alt and arrow left, backwards. And then if we wanna change the dates, well, there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts for these. If we hit the plus sign, 
we increase in intervals of days. We hit the minus sign, decrease in intervals of day. T brings us to today's date. W to the first uh, day of the week. K, the last day of the week. M is for the first day of the month. H, well, it's the last day of the month. Y, first day of the year. And R, well, basically December 31st, last day of the year. Now, there's a couple of other ones. And uh, this one's very useful for month end. Alt C J. That's for creating a journal entry. And a little bit more of an obscure one, but Alt U Y, receiving a customer payment. And those are basically the most common ones. Of course, you can create or learn your own, whichever ones you use most frequently. So if you do Alt S, I don't know, D, well, you can get sales by customer detailed. That's the end of our video. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe.